Night falls, and the city lights begin to glow. I arrived at the banks of Yunlong Lake, ready to cross the portal of time and enter the dream of the splendor of Hongcheng. As I entered the park, everything around me instantly took on an ancient air. NPC dressed in traditional attire interacted politely with visitors, guiding us into the streets of ancient Pengcheng. Beside the lotus pond, with clouds and mists swirling around, a giant moon illuminated this fairy tale night. The elder, Su Shi, with his flowing white hair, looked back from the high steps, warmly inviting everyone to dream of Peng Cheng, accompanied by the recitation of When Will the Moon Be Clear? The young Su Shi stepped on the moonlight, dancing to the rhythm. Amidst the majestic sound of the cow horn, the gates of Peng Cheng slowly opened, welcoming a glorious era. The valor of soldiers, the resounding beats of drummers, and the gracefulness of court entertainers composed a feast for the eyes and ears. Su Shi, along with his siblings, entered the city amidst this grand celebration, and I too became a member of Pang Jung's populace, welcoming the arrival of this poet. The viewing boat moved slowly with each island, bridge, and tower, casting poetic and picturesque shadows under the crafted lights. A crane's call pierced through the clouds, and at Fang He Ting Pavilion, water curtains formed naturally, with lights dancing like cranes spreading their wings. The elder Su Shi, along with the audience, traversed the portal of time, reminiscing about the days in Pang Chang. The streets were bustling, and the crowds were endless. However, a thunderclap from the clear sky shattered this idyllic life. The Yellow River, like a wild beast, flooded, plunging Peng Cheng into dire straits. Su Shi, standing in a storm, was a picture of resilience, leading the people to build the IC and fight the flood. The people of Peng Cheng worked together, fighting against the natural disaster with all their might. At that moment, I felt as if I had also become a part of that struggle, a surge of indomitable strength welling up in my heart. The floods were merciless, but humanity was compassionate. Building the Huanglo Pavilion and constructing long embankments, the gathering at Huanglo Pavilion was elegant and refined with flowing water and drinking games. A dispatch order marked the end of Su Shi's tenure as the governor of Peng Cheng, with tearful farewells from everyone. His figure blurred in the tears, and the gradually receding boat carrying deep affection for Peng Cheng and an unfinished millennium promise made my heart tremble. Fulfilling his wish, the elder Su Shi traveled through a thousand years from his dream. He stood at the bow of the boat, gazing at the skyscrapers and the brilliant lights. This was a new Pengcheng, a city he had fought for but never seen with his own eyes, Xuzhou. I wanted to tell Su Shi who had embarked on the Millennium Promise, that this prosperous era is as you wished, peaceful and beautiful. Xuzhou is an ancient yet vibrant city, its story imbued with the wisdom and sweat of our ancestors, and the splendor of Pangcheng is the most touching chapter of this story. Mm -hmm.